Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you the simplest way to make a magnetic power up like in Subway Surfer and other endless runner games with only using three scripts, some collider, and trigger action. This video was requested by Hero Alareza9. If you wish to download the entire project yourself and feel as if you don't need to follow along, the links are in the description. To begin, assuming that you already have the movement handled, we'll create a cube object as a charred game object of the player and have that as our coin detector. Then, edit the box collider values to make it look like a rectangle. You can copy the component values but feel free to edit according to your game. Also, be sure to add a coin detector tag to it. We'll then create another game object but as a sphere and edit the values on it as well and then put a tag on it called player bubble. After, I'll add a power up item. For me, I'll just use a cube and tick the is trigger on the collider. Next, we'll create a script called magnet and open it up in Visual Studio. In the script, the variable I had set up is a public game object of the coin detector, the one we made earlier. Following in the start method, we'll have the coin detector object equal to the game object with the tag coin detector and have it disabled at the start of the game. We won't need an update method. Instead, we'll use an on trigger enter saying if the game object hits the tag player, it will run a coroutine which will activate the coin detector. The coroutine simply just sets the game object to true, wait for a few seconds, and then sets it back to false. It doesn't make sense now, but it will later. Going back, pause. Future me here, and I'm here to tell you I made a mistake in this particular line of code. The solution I had was to make an empty game object and include the collider component and script there. And then the actual magnet pickup, which in this case was the cube, have it be a child of the empty game object. In the script, we'll have it destroy the transform.getChild0.game object. Unpause. Going back into Unity, I'm going to create a sphere and have that as my coin object. And then I'll turn it into a prefab. All we need to do is add a coin script, a coin move script, which you will need to keep disabled for the time being and a rigid body where you make sure that use gravity is unticked and the is kinematic is ticked. Starting off with the coin script, we're going to have the variables public transform called player transform, public float called move speed, which is then set to 17 and a reference to the coin move script. In the start method, we'll have the player transform equal to the game object with the tag player dot transform and the coin move script equal to the game object dot get component coin move. Once again, we won't need an update method. We'll do another void on trigger enter and say if the game object tag is equal to the coin detector tag, enable the coin move script. Now editing the coin move script, the only variable we really need is the coin script we just made. Sorry if saying coin a lot gets confusing, but bear with me. Reference the script in the start method and then go to the update method where we'll make the game object fly or move towards the player. Write transform.position is equal to vector3.move towards and add the values of transform.position coinscript.playertransform.position and the coinscript.movespeed times with time.delta time. After that, we'll do another on trigger enter and say if it enters the game object.tag player bubble, in this case, just destroy the game object. Before you press play, I forgot to add the step where you're supposed to tick is trigger in both the coin detector game object and the player bubble. Go ahead and do that step and I'll wait. Once you've done that, play the game and as you can see, once I pass through the magnetic pickup, all the coins will start flying towards me for a specific duration. I later replaced the game objects to actual assets and this was the result. That's all for this video. I know this method is quite messy and not proper in some ways, but I was once told, the code doesn't need to be perfect, the game just needs to work. I'll see you on the next one, subscribe, like, and bye!